Charles Louis Halley is a former American football linebacker who played in the National Football League for 15 seasons, primarily with the Dallas Cowboys. Halley spent his first two seasons with the Chicago Bears, who selected him seventh overall in the 1958 NFL Draft, and was a member of the Cowboys for the remainder of his career. Recognized as an original member of the Doomsday Defense, Halley received six Pro Bowl selections and then five first-team All-Pro honors, while appearing in two consecutive Super Bowls and winning Super Bowl VI. He was also named the MVP of Super Bowl V and is the only player on a losing team to receive the award. For his accomplishments with Dallas, he was inducted to the Cowboys' Ring of Honor in 1977. Born and raised in Wheeling, West Virginia, Halley attended Warwood High School and graduated in 1954. He lettered in football, high school basketball, and baseball. In football, he was first-team All-State and all of Ots as a senior. As a teenager he competed in gymnastics. He played college football at West Virginia University in Morgantown, where he was a three-time All-Southern Conference selection and the Conference Player of the Year in 1957. At WVU Halley joined the Mu Mu chapter of the Sigma Chi fraternity. Halley played guard and center during his three years at varsity, in which the Mountaineers compiled a 21-8-1 record, including a 21-7 victory over Penn State West Virginia's last until 1984. He played in the East-West Shrine game in the Senior Bowl, which helped him get noticed by the Chicago Bears. He also was in the college All-Star game in August 1958, a 35-19 win over the defending champion Detroit Lions. He is the only athlete in school history to letter in five sports, football, track, wrestling, gymnastics, and swimming. He won the Southern Conference one-meter diving championship. Halley was inducted into the West Virginia Sports Hall of Fame, the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, the West Virginia University Athletics Hall of Fame, the Ohio Valley Athletic Conference Hall of Fame and the West Virginia University Academy of Distinguished Alumni. Halley was selected 7th overall in the 1958 NFL Draft by the Chicago Bears, playing for two seasons before retiring after what appeared to be a career-ending knee injury he sustained in August 1959, at training camp in Rensselaer, Indiana. He played just three games late in that season and was inactive in 1960. He returned to West Virginia that year to take a job running a filling station, planning to permanently retire from professional football. Halley decided to make a comeback in 1961 following a West Virginia alumni game. The Bears traded his rights to the Dallas Cowboys in exchange for second and ninth round draft choices in the 1963 NFL Draft. Dallas had gone 0-11-1 in their inaugural season prior to acquiring Halley, but he was still eager to play for the new team. I went back because I decided there were better things to do than run a gas station, he said. Also, I thought it would be a unique opportunity to play for Dallas, a team that was just getting started. Although Halley started in 1961 and 1962 as a strong side linebacker, in 1963 he switched to weak side linebacker. At the conclusion of the 1963 season, Halley was named to the Sporting News All East NFL team for the first time. Halley holds the record for the second most interceptions by a linebacker in a season with six, which he accomplished in 1968. Halley played with the Cowboys for 165 games over 13 seasons, in two NFL championship games and two Super Bowls. He was also named most valuable player of Super Bowl V, after intercepting two passes and forcing a fumble in the Cowboys' 16-13 loss to the Colts, making him the first defensive player and non-quarterback to receive the honor. To date, he is also the only player from the losing team to win the award. The following season, Dallas made it back to Super Bowl VI, and Halley recorded a fumble recovery and a 41-yard interception in the Cowboys' 24-3 win over the Miami Dolphins. During his career, Halley intercepted 25 passes, returning them for 399 yards and two touchdowns. He finished with more than 100 yards in interception returns for both the 1968 and 1971 seasons. He also recovered 18 fumbles, returning them for 191 yards and one touchdown. He is second in Cowboys history with his 17 fumbles recovered. His 97-yard return of a fumble during a game against the Atlanta Falcons on October 2, 1966, is still the second longest in Cowboys history. He also had a large number of tackles and quarterback sacks, but these statistics were not compiled until after Halley's career ended so his unofficial sack total is 26. 5 according to the Dallas Cowboys with a career high of 5. 5 sacks in 1965. Halley was named first-team All-Pro 5 times in his career, 
was a six-time pro bowler and was named to the All-Eastern Conference team in 1963. Halley suffered a left knee injury from a crackback block by Charlie Taylor in the win over rival Redskins late in the 1972 regular season. He missed the playoffs and retired in June. In 1973, he made a brief return to the team and appeared in one game, before retiring for good. His 13 seasons for the Cowboys ties him for the second longest tenure in franchise history. In 1977, Halley was inducted into the Ring of Honor at Texas Stadium, the fourth player to receive that honor. He also was inducted into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. In 2007, he was among the 17 finalists to be seniors candidates for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The website noted Hall of Fame. Com ranks Halley as the third greatest player not in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In 2006, the Professional Football Researchers Association named him to the PFRA Hall of Very Good. Following retirement, Halley ran a uniform rental business in Dallas and is now involved in a foundation dedicated to breeding quarter horses at Happy Hollow, located in Wills Point, Texas. His broodmare herd consists of more than 50 mares. He lives in Dallas. Thanks for watching.